Welcome back to another step-by-step -step Excel tutorial. I am John Schwabish from policyviz.com, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a stripe chart with colors from Bob Ross's paintings. Where did this idea come from? Well, it came from a really nice visualization piece from Connor Rothschild, where he created a number of interactive visualizations, animated visualizations, talking about all the colors that Bob Ross used in his more than 30 seasons of paintings. And so you can see this little stripe chart here. And as I looked at this, I said, can I make this in Excel? And the answer is yes. So let's dive in and take a look at what we've got. This is the final visualization. You can see right here, I've got these colors sitting here on the side. I've got all the stripes written out here on the visualization and matching what we've got down here. So let's look at how we built this. Here's the raw data. Raw data comes in very nicely from Connor to provide it to us. Uh, we've got the name of the title. We've got all the episodes here. There are 31 seasons, 13 episodes each. We have 403 separate paintings. We've got the number of colors in each painting. Importantly, we have the name of each painting and the hex code, so we actually have the color. And then here's the core data, and the core data is simply binary. It identifies which color was used in which painting. So in this first season, episode one, there are eight colors used, including bright red, cadmium yellow, green, blue, sap green, tantanium white, van dyke brown, and L is crimson. So we've got these colors. So we've got that all set up. Let's transpose the data. I'm just gonna do a copy and paste to transpose it. Here we go, we've got all the data sitting out here again. Now I'm going left to right. So I've got seasons in row one, episodes in row two. I've combined some of these colors that have the same hex code. So they're about two or three different white colors all have the same hex code. I combine them, same with black, and then I sorted them based on the total number of occurrences. So here we are with this crimson color. I'm gonna start here so you can see it. And you can see we've got pairs of ones and zeros. So all I'm going to do to create this visualization, this stripe chart, is to use conditional formatting. So I'm gonna use a couple of keyboard shortcuts to make this a little bit easier for myself. So on a Mac, I'm gonna use the command key and the right arrow. If you're on a PC, it's just a control key. I'm gonna go all the way to the end of that row, and then I'm gonna come back to the left and highlight all those values by hitting the left arrow key, the command key, or control if you're on a PC, and the shift key. And that will highlight that entire row. And then I can come back just a little bit try that again, come back a little bit, holding that shift key down, just so I have the numbers. And now I can go to conditional formatting. I'm gonna to go to highlight cells rules equal to, this one's really easy. All I wanna do is shade or color those cells that are equal to one. And I wanna shade them with a specific color. So I'm gonna to go to custom format and I will bring up that menu. Lots of options here. If you're interested in learning more and all these options, check out a couple of the other videos on this playlist, including my heat map tutorial. I'll go over to the fill tab. I'm gonna to go to a new color, background color. I'm gonna type in that hex code 4E1500. Click okay. There's the color, click okay. Okay again, and there's the color sitting in those cells. Let's do cadmium yellow. Again, make this a little easier so I can see the hex code when I'm typing it in. I'm gonna go all the way to the right, shift key back, and I'm going to come back and grab those cells. Conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, equal to, put in that number one, go to custom format, go to the fill tab, drop down, more colors, and now I'm just gonna type these in, FFEC00. I'm literally just reading this out of that cell. I'm gonna select OK, hit OK again, one more time. You see, I've got the yellow set up. So as you can see, it's very simple. It's a little repetitive doing it in Excel. It's not a coding language like R or JavaScript, but we can set it up that way. And once we have it, then we can start making the strip chart. So let's go over to this tab where I finished adding all the colors. You can see I've added all the colors. I've hid all the grid lines, makes it a little bit nicer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hide the numbers. So I'm gonna again, select all of my data, Go here, you've probably seen this trick before if you've watched any of the other videos. I'm gonna format my cells, go down to the custom tab and type in three semicolons right here and hit okay. Now my computer's taking a little bit of time to do this. There's a lot of numbers here. So what I tend to do is like scroll down, scroll back up. Oh, look at that, they are gone. Now what we can do is to make this the stripe chart, we can just select all of our columns and change the width. And we can change this here. I'm gonna make it 0.2 
it's a pretty arbitrary, but I'll pick 0.2. That shrinks it down quite nicely. All right, now I might wanna have a little bit of a, a break between these different rows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a border, or just a bottom border. So to do that, I'm gonna go into my borders tab, my borders button, I'll select a line color, make it white. And then for each of these rows, I'm just going to use that uh, bottom that bottom border. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to select this row, hit the bottom, go down again. Again, just using that shift, command, right arrow, and just go down one at a time. Boom, 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 boom. Again, it's a little tedious. It's a little bit, takes a little bit of time, but it's Excel and that's what Excel is gonna give us. And there we go. And we've got all these set up. Let me bring that up a little bit, make that bigger. And now you can see we've got this. And so we can go back to the, to the primary visualization here. And you can see that I've added in the seasons just the way that Connor did in his original. I did this manually. You could do it with a formula. I'm not sure that's really necessary. And then I just added these borders here with changing the color of the, using the, the borders button again, just changing that color to a light gray and then just adding that border. So as you can see, we can make this stripe chart in Excel. If you wanna have these a little more, shall we say stripier, make them a little longer, just change your rows. Just make your rows a little bit. Uh, uh, wider and so there you go and you can change this uh, as you like you can see you just take a screenshot or copy and paste it into another tool and you are set to go so that's how you create a stripe chart in Excel it's simply using the conditional formatting menu where you say if the value is equal to one give it a color and if it's zero leave it alone and then you change the width of your columns and your rows as you like so be sure to subscribe to this playlist so you can learn more about extending your capabilities and skills in Excel and creating better graphs with the tool. This is John Schwabish from policyviz.com. Thanks so much for tuning in.